Hi guys, so in this video I'm quickly going to show you how I go about hiring VAs or virtual assistants. Now it's really important to hire VAs when you do digital marketing because you can use people who have really good skills, who live in countries that have a much lower cost of living. So hiring a VA is a great option to get people to do a lot of the heavy lifting for whatever you do, whether that be outreach or anything else that you might do. A lot of people out there who are working at scale, who have systemized everything and have the right processes in place, would simply then go on to hire a VA to do a lot of that heavy lifting. And why not? The VAs get paid good money for it, they have a much lower cost of living, and it's more cost effective for your business. So here is exactly how I would go about hiring a VA. So first things first, I want to show you the website that I want to talk about. Um, so a lot of people will get VAs from the Philippines. Now, you probably wouldn't want to hire a VA from the Philippines to do amazing content. That is not what a VA does. But if you do want a VA to do a lot of link building, data entry, uh, spreadsheet, whatever, you know, all of that kind of stuff, they can follow tasks really, really well. And where do you find these guys? Now you can go and try and hijack people off of Fiverr and various other places like that. But there is a marketplace out there called onlinejobs.ph and you can basically sign up for a free trial and mess around with a free account, which has got these options here. You can pay $69 per month and you can do up to three job posts, instant job approval, view job applications and communicate with the workers, use time proof, bookmark certain workers, pay them through this, read the reviews these guys have got, and you can contact up to 75 workers per month. Now, why is that part important first and foremost? Now, when you hire a VA, a lot of people hire and fire and it's a constant process month on month until you get the right VAs and the right team to work for you. So there will probably be a number of different workers you do go through to get to the right people. And even at that point, these guys are doing heavy lifting. They probably are not going to work with you for the next 10 years. So be aware that you are likely to go through staff a little quick, a little bit more than you normally would if you were hiring locally. Um, now the premium package allows you to post up to 10 jobs if you're wanting to hire a whole bunch of VAs on a regular basis. And you can contract up to 500 workers a month they have a mentoring service, they've got a video guide to outsourcing, unlimited background data checks and stuff like that. So <coughs> it's a great platform, um, onlinejobs.ph, to help you with all of that type of stuff. Now, um, you can post jobs on here, it's just like a marketplace, and obviously job, see job seekers go on here to find out what's going on. So let's log in and see what's going to go on. So at the moment, I'm trying to get someone to do some pitch box outreach for me when it comes to link building. Now, I can, I'll can i show you how to post a job first and foremost. Um, so posting a job is really simple and easy. Uh, job title, you basically put it in, whether it be, you know, uh, link building outreach or whatever it might be the type of employment you want whether it's full-time part-time or freelance please be honest with these guys don't try and tell them you're going to hire them full-time and then give them 20 hours a week that's not fair um job description try and put in as much detail as you can here wages you could put in in filipino amounts twenty thousand filipino pesos i think it is um, amounts to about 400 dollars a month which is you know, it's probably between four and five hundred dollars a month to hire someone full time there. Now you can get required ID proof, um, and they've got different scores. Um, you know, the higher the proof, the more the higher the ID proof, the more confident you can be that that person is who they say they are. So you can select someone re nearer the top, I would imagine, um, put in your details, the job skills. So you've got a primary skill, whether that be you know, marketing sales, affiliate marketing or whatever, SEO, you can call it whatever you want. Then you can have 
some English skills. You want someone with a bit of English uh, speaking and writing. So speaking, you may also want to to find someone that uh, is, is doing project management, for example. Um, so you can also add that as a skill in as well. Um, and then you simply put that out there and a whole bunch of people will reply to you. You have to do your due diligence, talk with them on Skype, speak, you know, a lot of these guys have got experience with other people and you want to keep, uh, you know, some of the good guys on your list as well because sometimes the first person you hire may not work out, let you down or whatever. So do not just cut people off um, right from the get-go. Try and get two or three people on your radar and potentially test one and uh, see how it goes. But that is essentially how you would go about trying to find a VA out in the Philippines. And this is a great platform that many, many, many people use all over the world to find these VAs and it's very simple, very easy and very cost effective and there is literally thousands of people on here looking for work and they probably are the type of people that you want to be working on your website because a lot of these guys have got previous experience so check out onlinejobs.ph when you're looking to hire a VA um, and as I say, hiring a virtual assistant is a massive way to be able to scale your business without creating massive overheads.